Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here, thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back, we're playing some more Wasteland 3. Now, last time we came into this place, we got our ass kicked instantly. Uh, we're going to leave everybody else outside and we're going to send Cordite in by himself. Back off. Can't you see we're Holy shit. Yep, Glad you us again. Remembered my name. Do you also remember how your help still trap drug me? Hey, I didn't want to do that. Get him, boys, and watch his arm. Here we go. Good luck, Cordite. You're on your own, mate. Jesus Christ. Okay. Cordite is down. The bear has travelled a long way. Jesus. We need to go in, there's no cover. Okay. Let's use some of this. And then let's get you to rally, I guess. What do we see? We still don't really see a lot. plasma turret over there which we're not gonna do I go in here I don't I don't really know do I back up and let them come out and then we can deal with the turret later I don't know I don't think I'm gonna get the cordite either way Let's go in. It's fine. Let's go. Oh, shit. Okay. It's a start, at least. Don't know if we're going to survive this for long, but it's a start. some shots do we just go for it 5% 5% can't actually hit anyone ok we'll hold you off for now Gomez do we run you in as well I think so let's run you here Why can't I throw any grenades in this place? And we get half cover. God damn it. Not what we wanted. Can I bring you up with one of these? This doesn't work, right? Pretty sure that doesn't work. Pretty sure that doesn't work. Okay. So I can only throw grades, grenades around here. Let's throw one on Cordite's corpse. Poison grenade. Whoopsie. 
Oh, that was a normal grenade. Whoops. Okay. It's gonna be bad. I mean, that's better than nothing, right? Jesus. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do a good job there. Do a good job there, bear. bring you up? How do I heal you? Why isn't there a, a healy thing over this? I don't know why, but... I can't get Virgil up. If I run you in, you're going to die, so let's, uh, let's keep you outside and just hope for a second. The bear could save the day here. I definitely can't get you up. Okay, let's, let's take a step in and try and bring you back around. Oh, jeez. This could have gone better. I can't run away. My uh, Verge can't run away. Brace yourselves. This could be the end. Jesus Christ. What are we supposed to do there? Let's hope it saved before we went in this place. I think it did. I genuinely don't know what I'm supposed to do going in that place. It's, like, the only thing I can think is draw them out so we'd have to face them and the turrets. Take out the trash now. Yeah. Ugh, now. I don't know how, but yep. It doesn't seem to be anything else that I can use to my advantage here, right? Cordite, you're going in again. Well, no, 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 no. The trash now. Ugh, now. I'm going to try this again, but... Cordite. Have we got anything that will get you through this? Eight armor. Some evasion. We'll try that. Holy crap. Well, the bear's in. Not what we wanted. We'll 
Right, get out of here. We're doing it. We're seeing if they come to us. Poor bear. Anyone coming outside? Guess we're gonna have to go in if no one's coming out. I don't really want to. Holy crap. The bear is going for it. I don't know how bad a condition the bear is in. Looks all right. We're going to try it one more time. I mean, I appreciate we're not in the best position because they can still shoot us, but... My poor bear. So it's a little bit annoying that we can't see in here. Nice. Now I can't move. Cordite, this is a job for you, I think. A little bit weird that we can't see in the room. Let's get you back here for now. See if they come out. Jesus. That, how does that bear stay alive for so long? <laughs> and kill, kill more things than I can. Quite annoying. 
Right, cool, right. Let's get some vision in here. Tower at the back. You over here. Let's come and punch you in the face. Beautiful, that is exactly what we needed. Okay, let's get you in. Still worried about this tower at the back here. So we'll just move one of you up and I guess we'll move you here, Gomez. Ouchie. I don't really know how we survived that. But also, how are you supposed to survive walking in this room? It's ridiculous. Holy crap. That was utterly insane. What it probably does mean is I need to go through and, and look at all the armor and ammo and weapons and stuff we've got and try and get back on, on track with all of that stuff, I think. Me too. Good luck fucking up steel trap. Thanks very much. Can we open these things? Listen, you I haven't got much to say. We actually made it back. No, I can't believe it either. I feel like I'm missing something in that in that UFO. No, in the space station, not UFO. No, I just don't know what. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Okay, I think we leave here. I don't know where we go, but I think we leave here. We need to find somewhere to watch this video on. Um, so we can get rid of them. We've, I think. What's up here, I wonder. Lockpick 10. Pah. That means nothing to us. What we got here? Just need... He pauses, then sniffs the air. Not the masters. You're too clean smelling. Who are you? We are we Cordite. Master Cordite. Is that you? It's me. Knock knock. I was boss slave at the company store when you were here. But I lost my eyes. And now I make blades for the masters. You were there the night Steel Trap drugged me and sold me off. I was. I saw it all. That's why I lost my eyes. Steel Trap said I'd stop seeing things. Don't worry. I will avenge you. Take Steel Trap down a peg. Damn shame to be a slave. We're on it, buddy. Don't worry. Um, can we buy any of your blades? We don't really need blades. I'm only supposed to sell to the cigar collector. The only thing that hurt 
What? There's a scar collector named Beta Master who's been saying he's gonna get even with Steel Trap or something by making the Paisos mad at him. And of course, Beta's a coward, so he ain't never gonna do it. He was the one who threw the video away, right? He'll be in the scar collector garage. Probably with that steel trap. Okay. See ya. Sharp master. I think you've got it bad. Look like ha. Uh, bet you need some stitching. You pass for a doctor. I, uh, was an assistant to a doctor. I watched her cut a lot of legs off, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Mostly. Um what do you charge? If you're in one of the gangs, it's free. <laughs> That's what being a slave is all about. But slaves and outsiders gotta pay. Uh, fix this up. Sec, let me heat up my cauterizing stick. Oh, Jesus. Better, right? Yeah, much better. Thanks. Ah, again. You got any supplies? Cough up some cash and I'll patch your wounds. Okay. I mean, where would I go? Somebody coming. Who are you? So you work for the godfishes. He does. And I'm seeking new employment. Don't know one day to the next if I still have my arms and legs when I wake up in the morning. Their leader, Star of the Dreams, decides if he's going to sacrifice somebody by talking to the clouds. And his followers believe every word that comes out of his mouth. Everybody else's heads were full of candy. They'd start digging our eyes out looking for gumdrops. Jesus. Um. Wonder if there's some way to get rid of him. Kill Star the Dreams. No, 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 no. That wouldn't work. I mean, they might leave, but they'd go berserk first and cut all our throats. The best way would be to get his number one wife to tell him it was time to go. A haloed moon, her name is. Star of the Dreams thinks she's an oracle or something. He believes her sky readings like his followers believe him about everything else. Except lately, Liberty Buchanan's been whispering in his other ear, telling him about the sacrificial victims waiting for him in Colorado Springs, so he hasn't been listening to haloed moon as much. Still. If anyone could convince him to ride off into the sunset, it would be her. Okay. Tell us more about her. She's a true believer. Thinks the sun shines out of star that dreams ass. Loves him too, like a wife, like a mother. Cleans up after him, keeps away all the fortune hunters and fake mystics who follow him around. Only one she hasn't stopped is Liberty. STD likes power. And Liberty's got plenty. He's put Haloed Moon on the back burner, waiting for Liberty to hand him half of Colorado for kite me. Punk ass pretty boy. True enough. Got all the women in the camp just jumping out of their pants. But he's more than that. He thinks he's destined to lure the godfisher gods down to Earth and bring about, I, I don't know, some big thunderstorm apocalypse thingy whatever it is when it happens he's gonna end up on top and all the rest of us are gonna be food for the gods not yet skinned you're full of joy okay i don't pretend to understand even half of it but apparently their ancestors lived underground for generations and it was a really bad time then one day, some guy found a way to the surface and was totally blown away by clouds and rain and, well, weather in general. Fucking nut jobs. Yeah, I understand that. I know, okay. right? Anyway, this guy goes back down carrying a bucket of water and tells everyone the gods live in the ocean of the sky and all you have to do is pray to them and get rain any time you want it. How they go from that to hanging people's torsos from skin kites, I don't know. But supposedly, that's how it all started. Okay. How can we find her? Wait a minute. You're not actually going to talk to her, right? I mean, I, I thought we were just bullshitting. She hangs around on a little platform in the Godfisher's garage. Says she's meditating. The 
complete weirdo. God damn it, you asshole. If the godfishers leave, they'll take me with them. I don't want that. You said you wanted to quit them, right? So if they go, you stay. Yeah. I guess. Okay. This has all been very interesting, thank you. Where does this take us? Okay. This is the Godfisher's place, so you... Your haloed moon, okay. His crew. Why are you so quiet? Well, maybe your gods have sent us to save Star the Dreams from the mess that Libby Buchanan's making. Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. True, but God's worth everyone witting vessels, don't they? Maybe that's us. <laughs> Should have quit while I was ahead. Better. Fine. Ooh. How will you save? Look at this chair, it's made out of someone's ribs and pelvis. Uh, he'd believe a sign from the gods, right? Maybe we could arrange one. We're hoping you had a plan, just needed some muscle. She's so quiet and compared to everybody else. Hanging from a kite, flying from the Alaska supplies truck. He will see it as a clear message to go north. Which is what I have been begging him to do since we came to this Congress of Snakes. Uh, you want to kill yourself? Can you hang somebody else in the Alaska truck? No, we really don't. My husband, more than the evil. And to help him achieve his destiny, I would kill myself a thousand times over. He is the chosen of the gods who will lead my people to their promised land and make them lords. Okay. Um. All right, we'll meet you there. No, we haven't got any better deal, so. to do she's left okay good now we need to go back to the other one right we're looking for beta master oh here he is this going to be? He turns to you. Uh, so hey, you're kind of hot. How'd you like me to take your picture? Um, how'd you like to eat your own teeth? I... <laughs> so, that's a no? 
Uh, what do you think? Okay. I get it. I'm not a total idiot. Did you, uh, <laughs> want something? We did want something. Um, we hear you have dirt. What? No, I... Who told you that? I... I... I, I love Steel Trap. He's the best leader. Best. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> present company accepted, Cordite. Sorry. Don't lie to us, we wouldn't want to hurt you. I'm not lying. I... Oh, please don't ask me anything more. I don't want to die. Steel Trap isn't who you should be worried about, Twist. Uh, maybe we beat the living shit out of you until you tell us. No, 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 no. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Please don't hurt me. So, I've kind of got this thing for Liberty Buchanan. She's so commanding, you know? Every time she comes out of her compound, I just try to sneak some footage of her to uh, watch later. Oh, come on. So one time I was following her around, and I shot her talking to Steel Trap. And, well, the other guys heard what Steel Trap said about them. Boom! You know? Big. So I was going to show it to the Payaso boss, the Torito, the next time Steel Trap picked on me. But, anyhow, I hid it in the furthest end of his tech mine so nobody would find it accidentally. If you want it, it's down there. Oh, and here's a camera you can play it on. Just watch it in the playback window. Okay, I told you everything. But please don't hurt me. At least he's open about his interests. Well, that's true. He is very open. Now what do we do? Is there a way of seeing this? Well, if there is, okay. So, he's got dirt on other gangs. So, do we just go over here and tell these dudes, maybe? Why are you being so mean? How can he know we're nobodies when he doesn't know who we are? Good question. Howdy, Cordite. You here to kiss my ass and ask me to switch sides? Well, you're gonna have to get that tongue in deep, you hear me? Because most payasos don't side with losers, yeah? And you're the biggest loser in Colorado. You had everything clowned. King of the scar collectors. Kickbacks from Padre Patriarch. The respect of the Eastern Plains. And now look at you, crawling to poor old Lecherito. Well, you never even gave the time of day back when you were riding high. Well, fuck you, big man. Fuck you with Steel Trap's rusty-ass roto dick. You through. Shit, I ain't even getting warmed up. But it can wait. I can drag you coming or going. You got something to say, say it. I'd love to hear a grown man beg. <laughs> um. How do I, how do I do this? Came to introduce ourselves. But thanks for the dick suck all the same. But get out of here. On the cagar, how do I how do I do this? Mission log. Find the tape in the scar collector's mind. Did I not do that? Maybe I couldn't pick it up. I thought I'd done it. Let's quickly head back there. Sorry, everybody. I thought I'd... Uh, I thought I picked up the... In fact, is it not in our... Maybe it isn't those. Maybe I didn't pick them up. Which is a bit weird. I've also got some uh, some books that I should probably look at dishing out. Really, it feels like we're coming to a coming to a close. There is some DLC coming out, um, which I'll probably pick up and and give a go um, in here. Right? After I take back my 
father's throne, the Payasas are going to be a liability. Too dumb to be trusted. Don't you worry about those clowns. I've got plans for them. Oh? Gonna trick that asshat Lecherito into making them take on the marshals by themselves. Nice little diversion for us, but it'll turn the Payasos into clown burgers. <laughs> Good. Just make sure there are no survivors on either side. Okay, well, I think we've got what we need. Let's go back. A little bit worried about this demolition derby that we've got to do. wonder what that entails. Ouch. I hope not. <laughs> I've seen scar collectors with bolt on arms, legs, head. Hey, it's old news again. What do you want now? We've got something to show hey, you. Will I need a magnifying glass to see it? Um, if you don't want to see the evidence that Steel Trap is planning to feed you to the page, then that's okay. We'll see you around. God, I'll wait just a goddamn minute. You didn't say it was something like that. Let me see. You hand Literito the camcorder. He watches the playback. His customary snarl sags. Blank shock. He throws the camcorder back at you and pulls his fists. Madres, they've been zooming me for weeks. Telling me the payasos are an integral part of the plan. And now I find out they're using me for martial bait. Trust you to be blinded by a pat on the head. Fuck you, has been. But all right, I'll back your play. I still think you're yesterday's lunch in a high horse snob, but... At least you never shit in my face and told me it was candy. Whenever you're ready, the payasos will be right behind you. Now okay, my porch. payasos. Oh yeah, no touchy. Okay, we're not allowed in there. Um, I wonder if we could just kill them all and, and be done. Um, right. So we've got to go to the... We've got to go to the wind farm, right? Where the hell is that? I missed that joke, but I'm sure it was hilarious. Okay. Oh, hello. The toolbox over here. Where's the map? Where are we? Okay, so we need to go down. This way, I think. Hey, strangers, over here. Hello. Ah, uh, maybe you Mamons can help us out. You see, the godfishers were traveling this way with some fresh kite making materials, but they ran into some giant bisons and they kind of got them trapped. We don't give a wet fart about the godfishers. Oh, but they're poor slaves. <laughs> Their plight has touched our hearts, and we want to, um, liberate them. If you take care of the bison, we'll grab the meat stickers, uh, victims, and our boss, Risky Brisket, will give you something cool for your trouble, huh? She's down at Meat Clown, near the godfisher shrine. Um, what are you really going to do with them? We promise we're gonna have them over for dinner and then say adios. Um, you're on your own. With those bison, they have other ideas. Jesus, do you want to help these people? I, you mean, we don't want to help these people, right? Meat's back on the menu, cabron. We'll eat like kings. Those shitty clown burgers to somebody else. Get Right up the bum. Is 
So these clowns are on our team, right? That could have gone better. Let's move you back. Move you back. I'd rather they came and attacked everybody else than us, if I'm honest. Okay, or they didn't attack anyone. Guess we move up then, maybe. Have a rocket right up the backside. This thing's got to turn around in a second, right? 100% turning around and trying to kill us. Yeah, there's one down. Here it comes. Nice. Here it comes some more. Oh god. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. this time. Yeah, punch the punch the buffalo. Why wouldn't you punch a buffalo? Nice work, cabros. We'll take those slaves down to meat clown and fatten them up. Oh, I give them a good meal. Hey, we tell the jokes around here, pendejos. And if you ain't joking, then you're dead. The payasos don't stand for no funny business, comprende? Um. Now you'll see, mamos. You'll see what here we go. Yes. This took a turn. Got any good shots here? Not really. 76% over this way. A lucky crit didn't seem to do that much. be a bad mood but nice um I feel like this is going to hurt more of us. Oh. 
Nice. Come then, cool, right? Show us what you got. Open for a little more, cool, right? Stunned. That's a little better, right? Oh god. No. Holy crap. Nice. Let's get you healed up. We do this. Beautiful. Cordite is a job for you, mate. Beautiful. There's still one more. I didn't see you over here. God, that is a job for you, mate. Well, this is all good. Now we just got to wait for the bear to run around. There we go. Yeah, we survived, everybody. Okay, good. Um, I guess. What's going on with you? Oh, we used the we used the things, right? What was going on up here? We should go and have a look. Thanks Hello. again for saving us, strangers. Problem. We'll make a run. Thanks again for saving us, strangers. We'll make a run for it soon. Thanks again for <laughs> saving us. No problem. Strangers. We'll make a run for it soon. What's this thing? Bike wheels, mufflers, and unrecognizable metal scrap have been warped and folded to build a strange observation tower. Okay, I think we're going to wrap it up here, but next time we'll head down this way, which I guess is to the to the wind farm. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching Scott Dog Gaming. Don't forget to follow on Twitch and Twitter and head over to YouTube for daily content. See you again soon.